Here we are. Take it in, boys. This is an embarrassment to America. I'm sorry? You are right to want to correct this. Correct what? This is the giant pig of dirt you were telling us about, is it not? The one you want to turn into a park? No, no. <laughs> this is already a park, and it's one of our best loved parks. Why are the trees so small? They're not that small. Besides, size doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Our trees are huge. We build tunnels through them. Oh, oh. This is one of my greatest brainstorms ever. A community garden, right in the middle of the pit. We're encouraging people to just come out and plant whatever they want. And Tom and I sometimes get here early and help out. It's so hot. I had to get some more iced tea. People have just really embraced this and planted the coolest stuff. And Tom is our master horticulturist. He knows all the scientific names for everything, right, Tom? Yep. Like this? What's this, Tom? Um, those are, of course, tomatoes or soldier boy tellums. Whenever Leslie asks me for the Latin names of any of our plants, I just give her the names of wrappers. And those over there? Uh, those are some ditties. We have some uh, bone thugs and harmoniums right here. Growing beautifully. Those ludicruses are coming in great. Look, someone planted something new. What's this? What do you think, carrots? If that's true, we have a garden pest on our hands. <laughs> Maybe some kind of spice? Yeah, you know, Leslie, the best way to figure out what kind of spice that is, is roll it up into a joint and smoke it. Rangers, as a reward for coming on this trip, I have gotten you each two gifts. Go ahead, open them. What is this? That is a canvas sheet, the most versatile object known to man. It can be used to make tents, backpacks, shoes, stretchers, sails, tarpaulins, and I suppose in the most dire of circumstances, it can be a surface on which to make art. What's the second gift? The second gift is the box itself. You have 10 minutes to assemble a shelter using only your two gifts. Go. So we've been called out to this hiking trail because there's some reports that some teenagers are digging bags of dog poop out of the trash and having dog poop fights. I don't believe it. Oh my God, it's real. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go deal with this. I'm leaving. Hey, hey, hello, boys. I am Leslie Nope. I work for the Department of Parks and Recreation. Okay. All right. Pull it. Okay. No. Ah, that's disgusting. What are you doing? No. Not so bad. Oh, oh, why would you think this was fun? Oh, oh really? Oh, really? Really? Oh, hey, hey. You like it? Oh. Boom. Oh. Okay, here we go. Who wants it? Woo, oh. missed it. Yeah, oh. Actually, this is a little fun. This is fun. OK, let's begin the barbecue. Oh, hey, little guy. What are you doing? Oh, no. Everyone, meet your meat. No. 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 Come on. Why are you doing this to us? Well, in my opinion, not enough people have looked their dinner in the eyes and considered the circle of life. This is your dinner. His name is Tom. <laughs> Burn. Seriously? No, I understand that it's hilarious, but that is his given Christian name. Tom is very smart and incredibly loyal. He's basically a dog. A dog we're going to cook, chew, and swallow. Dude, there's kids around here. Good point. Which one of you youngsters wants to help me drain the blood from this animal? If you do a good job, I'll give you the bladder. You can blow it up for a fun play ball. Hey, Ron, you're not gonna slaughter that pig here, are you? Not to worry. I have a permit. This just says I can do what I want. I am the director of the parks department, and this is a park. It's not a parks thing. It's against like three laws and a dozen health codes. Fine. Barbecue is postponed until I can go pick up some meat from the food and stuff. Let's go, Tom. No, Pig Tom. <laughs> the parks in Barajo are far superior 
the park in my hometown, El Parque del Este, we have a monorail and we have an aquarium. And we have the Haripa Amphitheater, it's huge. Lady Gaga played there last week. Great, well, we don't have Lady Gaga. And I don't think she's going to come here unless her career takes a very bad turn. But we have something more beautiful than Lady Gaga, democracy. This homemade bulgogi is so delicious, Kayla. This is the best Korean food I've ever had. I would say it's almost as good as lukewarm beans from a can. Right, Ron? I'm trying to teach my boys about rationing food. And your self-indulgent ethnic food court isn't helping. Goddesses, let's go over our schedule for this afternoon. We have hiking and then capture the flag and then a puppet show about the Bill of Rights set to Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. And then we have lasso training and a s'mores off. So what's on our schedule, Mr. Swanson? We have one activity planned, not getting killed. Hey, also, he's cute. Is he single, do you know? Chris? No, he's actually dating Jerry's daughter. Oh, no, sorry, I meant Ben. What's his story? Who? Ben. I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. He's um, a man and he's a worker and he is, uh, we've never discussed sex. So it's, we've always just been very businesslike. So your guess is as good, nay, better than mine. The End by Leslie Nope. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, ha happy to help. Oh boy, I know how this goes. I know how Shauna operates. She smiles, and then they fall in love, and then they get married, and then she changes her name to Shauna Malway Wyatt. Or he's gonna be really progressive and change his name to Ben Wyatt Malway Tweep. God, I am so annoyed that he would hypothetically do that. I'm gonna remind you that the reason you're not dating him is because you decided to run for city council. Oh, so just because I can't go out with him, someone else can? Oh boy. Wow. Okay. I'm sure this is nothing. Okay, well, that was definitely something. Oh my God. I know that move. They're gonna have sex in five minutes. I gotta stop this. I gotta keep them away from each other for the rest of their lives. How are you gonna do Unclear. that? Unclear. Murder, murder the most melons. Shaquille showered shame on Shakira's Hello, shoes. Joan. Hello, Leslie. Looks like a very impressive uh, festival. We'll see. We'll see. You remember Ben? It's nice to see you again. Let's get started. Okay. Now, the festival is spread throughout the town, but the centerpiece is the carnival. And over here is Indiana's largest corn maze. Wow. Is that Pawnee corn or Eagleton corn? Pawnee corn. And it's organic. Over here, we have our beautiful Ferris wheel. Uh, beautiful, but deadly. When was the last time this giant wheel of death was inspected? Actually, twice in the last week, and everything is 100% up to code. How many of these carnies are illegals? None, they're all U.S. citizens. Over in this booth, Indiana basketball legend Larry Bird's 84-year-old Aunt Tilda will be signing autographs for two hours on Thursday. You got Tilda? Yeah. Oh. We got Tilda. <laughs> but the real coup is over there. Lil Sebastian. Are you kidding me? You got Lil Sebastian? See for yourself. Wait, I got something. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. so nice. Thanks, D-Money. What kind of bait did you use? I bought this mackerel at the supermarket. I've been standing in the water with the fish on my hook for 30 minutes. I saw it on an episode of I Love Lucy. Pathetic, maybe, but feels pretty good to have a bunch of little boys be super into me. That came out wrong. I know that Ron doesn't want us to eat anything before the meat, but I smoked on some candy. Oh, thank God I'm starving. Raisins. It's nature's candy. Now, they're basically grapes, so remember to pace yourself. I can't even follow my own advice. It's so delicious. Oh my God. Did you put glitter in the laundry detergent? Oh yeah, I'm experimenting with some new entrepreneurial ideas. That one's called Sparkle Suds. Dress loud. Oh, will you stop putting glitter in everything? This morning you put glitter in the butter. Disco dairy. Spread the party. No, that's not a good idea. That's terrible. Well, the target demographic isn't angry middle-aged nurses. Oh, you Wait. know what? Shh, stop it. Hey. Hey, I'm gonna get in line for some food. Y'all want anything? We're good, we're really good. No, just spend a little time with my baby girl. Mm. Ew. Get off me. I will be sorry to see you leave this town for many reasons. Not the least of which is that you created a puzzle that even I couldn't solve. And boy, oh boy, 
Did you love Andy? <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> it really is embarrassing. Oh my God, I totally know where the key is. <laughs> How'd you remember? Woof, woof. Barb. Why here? Because this tree reminds me of you. It's strong and quiet and always here when you need it. Or whatever. I have always felt a certain kinship with April, and this is proof that I was correct. Not the nice things she said about me. The fact that I buried a large amount of gold under that same tree years ago. I have since moved it. Or have I? You know, my friend Jack and I used to fish this lake in the summer. One time, our boat almost tipped over, but then it didn't. It's not a great story. Yeah, I had a pretty uneventful childhood. I got you something. No way! <laughs> yeah. Where did you get that? I stole it from Mayor Stice's office. Screw that guy. You should have it. You're the best wife in the world. <laughs> but I don't want this. Really? Yeah, I mean, I love Partridge, but I have plenty now, and I have you. Well, I'm not giving it back to Stice. That guy sucks. Yeah. Well, you know what, then? <laughs> hey! Lake's not a garbage camp, pal. Yeah, sorry, it was symbolic. Is that Ben Wyatt? Get the hell out of here, Ice Town! Uh, okay. Go, 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 Run. go, go! 